In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tip on doing the rear delt flying machine. Now, the rear delt flying machine is a great way to focus on the rear delts, which most of them neglect. When you do the machine, you want to make sure that you set the seat height up low enough so that your arms are perpendicular to your torso and just about parallel with the floor when you sit on the bench. Now, one thing you don't want to do is set the handles too far forward because as I said the beginning motion here the rear delts don't really play much of a role so you can bring the handles on a bit you want to go at least about about a 45 degree angle from your torso now as far as the hand grip goes research shows that using a neutral grip so putting my hand here Pulling the handles back helps to focus more on the rear delts versus palms down. So if you're tempted to do this version of the rear delt fly machine, that's fine as an alternative version. Remember, variety really is the rule. But research shows that this version, the hands in the hammer grip position or neutral grip position, will focus more on those rear delts. So focus more on this version. Now when you bring it back, you want to bring it back as far as you can and hold it just for a second before returning to the start position. So start with light weight so that you can really focus on using those rear delts and middle traps. In this finished position, you really want to focus on contracting those rear delts, middle traps, squeezing the scapula together before bringing it back to the start position and repeat for reps. Give that a try next time you're training shoulders. If you have any more questions, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And as always, stay gym, army strong.